Hey, welcome to the official Windows 8 uh, channel. Today is a very easy feature, something not complicated but often overlooked and people just don't know where to uh, change that. Um, if you've got a Windows 8 machine, um, one of the things that can happen is that the sound level can be too strong or too low and um, even though it's you know, an easy feature. Lots of people still are a little mixed up on where do you change the volume on your computer or maybe you don't have any sound and you don't know how to you know, check if the volume level is at a proper uh, setting. Two ways uh, usually that you can actually change the volume on a computer one is with your keyboard. Um, very often on the keyboard itself you'll have um, these little arrows that are actually gonna put the volume up or down and I have it on the top of my um, if I look at the top of my computer um, I actually have a little volume control and if I press the key you see that on the upper left you have your volume that's showing up so you can actually put it you know, higher or lower depending on what you're going to do. So check your keyboard for volume controls. They are often uh, there on my Toshiba. It's kind of a, these, a little line that increases in size with a plus sign and another one that decreases in a minus sign. So it's a, you know, up or down thing. Uh, sometimes it's a uh, little speaker icon, one with a little speaker sound waves and one no speaker sound waves. Um, and of course you got a mute button, you got to be careful there. But if you can't find it on your keyboard and you're still wondering how can I change the volume control, just go on the upper or lower right corners to get the charms bar in Windows 8. And once you've got your charms bar, go into the settings. Of course, if you've got a touch device, you can swipe from the right to the left to get the charms. And right there into the settings, you'll see a little speaker icon with a little number under it that says 50. So here it tells me my volume is at 50% level. So you can click on this icon and um, you'll have the control of the volume that you can actually set up right there. Put it to the level you want. And you'll have a notable little sound like you just had here. That's going to tell you, okay, volume is set at this level. So uh, if you're wondering where it is, it's as simple as that. And you can change your volume control from there. So it's pretty cool for that. And um, lots of people are actually a little mixed up here. And if you click on the top, you can also mute. So if you click there, you'll mute. And you'll have a little red X that that little X, sorry, not red, but it's a little X to tell you that um, the volume's off. And so you'll just have to go back to the charms bar and, uh, you know, just click the muted volume there, control to put it back. So um, it's a good idea to know how to do that because sometimes you can accidentally mute your volume with your keyboard, for example, uh, keyboard shortcut. Or sometimes you're wondering just, you know, where do I go to get all of that, um, uh, the, uh, where to get the volume control. So uh, it's as easy as that. It's right there in the settings on the charms bar. So uh, if you have any comments, questions, let us know. If you enjoy our videos, click the subscribe button. You'll be informed when new videos are online. And uh, if you have requests of videos or uh, features of Windows 8 you'd like to see, let us know. We'll try to put a video online. And um, hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel and uh, learn more and more on how to use Windows 8. Especially if you've got that new Windows machine. It's a great idea. And it's a great way to learn. And it's a fun way. It's a way uh, you can you know come back to those videos and watch them again and again if you've missed, um, missed out on something or maybe you didn't understand something. So thanks for watching. Hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.